Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing today? We are working on basically just filling in this blank area that you see and it's a little bit tricky because this area is already medium density traffic and anything that we put in is going to cause even more traffic so we have to be careful what we do and how we plan it out in terms of this area up here I think I mentioned that I was going to tell you guys how I did it I added in this bridge over here and that pretty much just made the flow so much easier so that's I that like that was it so um, yeah that was easy so back over here this area it's going to be a mixture of actually pretty much everything residential commercial office industrial and there's also going to be some new roads going in so hopefully or a lot of new roads going in so hopefully it's not going to put too much impact on this area and yeah so okay guys so let's just start with a nice little park because this area here I feel like it's a little bit odd so I needed I didn't want to yeah I just didn't want to put any buildings here to be honest and I thought maybe it would be nice to put a park right here but um, I think I needed to put a lot of trees right there just to block out all of the the noise from the cars so and then I put that pathway right there just because I like to make the pathway along next to the road a little bit wider just so people don't have to walk so close to the actual cars so it doesn't matter in the game but it matters to me because it's a safety thing I guess and yeah just putting in rocks because rocks are just a very easy middle centerpiece to put in so the main road at the bottom there is actually a special road uh, and it allows see it has the the middle what would you call that the middle barrier thing and that road specifically it doesn't break the barrier and I like that one because it doesn't allow cars to turn in front of other cars so I put it right here because I want them to use the roundabout to turn around so I didn't want them to have to do any t uh, turns in front of oncoming traffic so um like I'm I'm recording this right now I've already built it so I know how it turns out this area um, I was like, presuming it would become quite busy because maybe they would, they would prefer to use this rather than going on the highway right there as kind of like a shortcut maybe but surprisingly not too many cars use this whole area the only main parts are the ones that are connected directly to those bridges the the water bridge and then the highway bridge as well and um, that squarish thing on the intersection there that is really blank that is actually the hot air balloon station and I think I moved that over I think I moved that somewhere I keep moving it and moving it and moving it so many times so this area it's I, like I really didn't know how to build it because it, it's tricky because there's going to be a lot of traffic trying to get to the highway connection so obviously you didn't want to connect too many roads to those highway connection roads so and it had I didn't like I didn't want to put in really heavy uh, industrial space throughout this whole area because the the existing roads just would not be able to handle it so there is going to be some industrial space towards the back of it but I actually end up making a more direct road that connects up to the highway I don't, I'm not sure if I did that in this episode though it might be towards the end or I might show it in the next episode but there's definitely some other uh, little road that connects up the industrial directly to um, the highway kind of up on the highway where it's raised up a little bit on the hill up in the background a little and uh, when when I actually finished building this whole area it actually I, I realized that it suddenly became its own little town center on its own and so if you guys have been keeping up with uh, Insel Stadt so far I've been letting it kind of what is the term just freely building itself like I'm not saying like okay there must be a town center right here I'm kind of just doing it and just seeing how it turns out in the moment so this area up here actually turns into a mini not downtown but maybe just a little town center and um, so that would probably be the fourth town center for the whole of Inselstadt so far and I think what really makes it look like a town center is these office buildings that pop up they're kind of some of them are low density but then every now and then there's a medium density one and they pop up and it makes it look really um, 
downtown-ish, how it's really compact. You can see how there's buildings right up against the roads, the elevated road. And I, I do definitely, definitely like the look. Um, the only thing is that since it's building up, it kind of looks a little bit out of place without any buildings around it. So I have to build out this whole area and put in a certain amount of, I guess, urban sprawl to allow for it to look natural to have like a town center out here. So I hope that makes sense. And I, I must be having a break right now. Why, why am I not moving anywhere? We're just watching the trees sway. The sound your ears hear when there's nothing for your ears to hear here. So come on down and enjoy the movies. I should probably tell you guys, I'm actually going to release this city onto the workshop, so if you want to go download it, um, you're more welcome to. Sam Petersburg is also on there if you want to try it, but it's it's not working. Some people have said, yeah, it, it just doesn't work, so... But anyway, this one will be on there. It'll probably be, probably be this save, so it'll be to this much building to this extent. If you are going to download it, just make sure that you have some of the more required uh, mods and assets in my mods and asset list but if you are going to download all of the mods try not to do it all at once because if you do it at once it's going to really overload your computer a lot of people have been saying that it's really making their computer crash or the game crash because they just download them all at once so maybe do some then go out of the game go back in do the rest and then it should be fine so I, I always find that if I try to download a huge amount of mods or basically anything it really crashes the computer and my computer is a really strong gaming computer custom computer oh yeah and i said i was going to do a, a video about my computer never did that did i hmm so you can see like the area it's already coming together it's looking quite good oh yeah and one other thing um a lot of people throughout my whole let's just say youtube career air quotes um people have been saying why don't you review real cities and so I'm, I'm thinking, should I, like, should I do that? Should I actually review cities? So if I did, I was thinking it would be in regards to town planning or big infrastructure projects or, or just interesting urban planning facts about the city. Or like, I know I would be interested in that video, especially looking it all up and then compiling it all into a video. I think I would in enjoy that myself. So if you guys would be interested in that, um, definitely let me know because that's something I, I'm interested in doing myself. It really depends on how you guys react to that. So anyway, back to the video. Yeah, we've, that's, we've built a lot so quick and it's only been, what, nine minutes? So you can see it's starting to come together as a bit of a town center. So the roundabout is the real savior to these two areas. Without those roundabouts, it would really be congested quite a lot because the roundabouts, they don't have traffic lights. So the traffic just flows straight through. They don't have to wait at all. So, and you can see this area here, I thought this area was going to be really busy. Not that busy at all, to be honest. So I guess, I guess that's a good thing. And um, just to finish it off, I thought, why not add in the boardwalk, make it look a little bit more classy. And um, I'm using, using the Move It mod to make it look a little bit more smooth. And then it's probably a good idea to add in a di direct pedestrian bridge. Because um, obviously there's going to be a lot of people who want to go from the main island to this industrial, well not industrial, the office space to work. And so just adding in a bridge, I think i add that in, in a second, a pedestrian bridge. So that will help facilitate that a lot. And um, yeah, this I just feel like this area is coming along quite well. I expanded the whole map to kind of all of the tile, the map tiles that I wanted to work in throughout the whole game, and um, so this area is probably half, maybe not even half, of what the whole lens, the whole size that I want to actually do for this whole map, and um, I'm going to keep building on this city regardless if St. Petersburg works or not. So there's a lot of traffic coming through here, as you can see. Um, this boardwalk here where it's really bushy, lots of trees, I actually decided to add in some medium density buildings. I don't think I did that in the video. I think I did, did, did that directly after I stopped filming. So when you guys come back, there's a nice little surprise there. And um, I don't know what was going on with this pathway right here. It seemed to be going really crazy. And uh, yeah, it was, it, was really, it was just really annoying me. In the end we got there, I thought why not make this a park and then charge people to get in, but honestly I can't be bothered. <laughs> like, uh, park life was really great at first, but now I'm kind of like, 
I think the hype has died down, like I've gone back to really just playing the game and parks will probably all come in like one mass video eventually but I feel like for just like a little park like this I wouldn't charge people to get in like it's a park like I don't want people to have to pay to just go for a nice stroll in the in the park so um, but I mean we can still make it free I think and I've been experimenting with colors I don't know if you guys have noticed but I've been ex experiment experimenting with the purple and the pink trees lately and I don't know, I'm not complaining, I think they look good. So yeah, and then all of that area up near the top of the roundabout up here, I fill in all of that. Um, and then I'm going to start filling in the other sides of the highway as well, just because I feel like it's a little bit bare. So this part up here, I'll expand right up to the boundary of the map, just so it kind of fits in with the, the density of this little urban area. And inside the roundabout, I thought, should I put something? Should I, should I put a pedestrian bridge? I think I added added in one, but it looked really odd. So ideas for that space in the middle. Maybe I should just put in some trees or uh, something. Most likely, I'll put in trees. Um, or maybe I can put in, I don't know. Should I make it a park? Like, should I charge people twenty dollars to get in? Like, what should I, what should I do there? Or maybe, actually, maybe. Once this whole area is filled in, it might actually look okay leaving an empty green space. Maybe, we'll see. This area here, it's a little bit of a awkward space. So, just because I didn't want to add in a road, I thought why not just make it a little bit of a green space. The terrain is a little bit funny towards the roundabout area. So, and um, I'm not really too fussed about how parks look really close up. Like, as long as it looks kind of filled in from, like, distance, like, just adding in. I'm not really fussed too much. And I'm definitely not going to charge people to get into this park. <laughs> you know what, you guys? That is actually the end of the video. So that was a quick video. I feel like that really went past really quick. But um, it looks good. I really like how I built everything really closely to the highway. It makes it really look filled in, very compact looking. And definitely there'll be some more areas coming that are very similar to the look of this whole area. So... Um, in the next videos, why not let me know what I should work on. I still want to do the hotel, bar, club type area. Other than that, what other areas should I work on in Inselstadt since we can't work in St. Petersburg at the moment. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll be back very, very soon. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And yeah, bye guys.